Tuesday. It's time for morning meeting. Hi, Miss Charlotte. Hi, Miss Gretchen. Hi, Miss Alice. Good morning. Okay, I give you guys a wave. Do you want to choose a new greeting for this morning, Alice? Let's see. A thumbs up. Ooh, I like that. Let's all show each other a thumbs up. Nice work, guys. Okay, since Miss Alice is our special guest today, Alice, will you take us through the feelings? What do you feel today? Today, I feel happy. Ooh. In the green zone because it's my first time recording morning meeting. I like that. We like having you here, Alice. Uh, Miss Charlotte, what is the month today? Or the month is April. Very nice. My friend Hedgehog is here. He's going to do the day. Hedgehog, what day is it today? That's right. It is the 16th. Nice work, Hedgehog. And our favorite year, 2020. Okay. Miss Charlotte, could you help us? What was yesterday? Yesterday was Wednesday. Okay. And Wednesday is Thursday. Okay. Do you want to finish the last one? Yes, please. Keep going. Right, tomorrow will be Friday. That's excellent. Yesterday, Hedgehog got a little confused, Miss Charlotte, and he thought that tomorrow was going to be uh, Saturday. And so we oh, had to review no. the days of the week again. So hopefully Hedgehog has got it figured out today. Um, what is the weather like, Alice? I am... It looks partly sunny, maybe some clouds. Okay. Do you know what the temperature is supposed to be like today? Is it cool or warm? It is cool. Oh, excellent. Thanks for helping us with that. You're welcome. And then, Hedgehog, what is the season? Yes, that's right. It is spring. Good job, Hedgehog. Hey, Alice, what clothes are you wearing today? Today I am wearing a blue jacket, gray pants, and a pink sweater. Oh, I like that. I like how you told me about your colors. Let's put pink up here too. I heard you say that you had a blue jacket, mm -hmm. gray pants, and a pink sweater. Mm -hmm. I like how you told me all those different describing words. Okay. Let's go through our home rules really quickly before we all launch onto our work for the day. Miss Alice, what is the number one rule? It's the same thing we have at school as what we have at home. I can't show you my feet, but definitely safe hands. Oh, excellent job. And I like how your feet are down on the ground. That is a safe choice. Miss Charlotte, what is rule number two? Rule number two is kind words. Excellent. Number three is calm bodies. And number four, perhaps one of our more important rules is listening to adults. And that can be anybody who's at home working with you. Miss Alice, since you are our special guest for the day, can you tell us about what you have on the website that the parents maybe can look at today? Yes, this week I am uploading social narratives about COVID-19. And social narratives are um, really short stories that talk about a specific situation. So. In this example, COVID-19, and they're talking about um, what our kids might see, why they might not be in school, and what they might feel. And it's just to give them some reassurance, and so they're not feeling so anxious about the situation. It should be read um, multiple times a week if needed, because sometimes our students need to hear things more than once till they fully comprehend. Mm -hmm. Excellent, that's a really great resource. And I know sometimes for the parents and the adults too, that could be a really helpful thing to help them feel a little bit more calm also. Mm -hmm. Great job. And I believe that we also have sent home some resources from our classroom about feelings before. Um, so this would be another great opportunity for us to practice like the zones of regulation, the different colors that our feelings are in and help mm -hmm. our students understand that and the parents can feel those different color feelings too. Mm -hmm. And all feelings are okay. It's just how do you display those feelings? Definitely. Very good. Okay, friends. Thank you for joining me for morning meeting. I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.